Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is Boring Objects Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Today I'm going to talk about haircuts. I've had quite a few haircuts over the years. And otherwise, my hair would be really long probably unmanageable possibly health and safety issue because I imagine if I had never had a haircut. My hair would really get in the way. probably trip over my hair and because I've got such curly hair It may knock people off their bikes when I walk down the street. Because my hair sticks out. like a curly toilet brush which is part of the reason why I have my hair cut because 
otherwise. It would keep growing. And nobody deserves to see that. Very curly. In fact, when I was in my early twenties I used to have long hair and I had to keep it in a ponytail Otherwise, no one else was able to work in the same room as me because my hair took up so much space sometimes it used to try and escape out of a window Someone once told me that they thought that my hair was a triffid. And I remember saying to him, what's a triffid? And he, he said to me, a triffid is an alien plant that grows very big and attacks humans and I said my hair has never attacked anyone He said, I'm not saying that your hair has actually a 
attacked anyone. But it looks like it might do. I said, wait. Just there. And I apologized for speaking so quickly, but I was. angry. In fact, I don't, I don't think that I've ever been So angry. And he said, That's okay. We all get angry at times. So, what are you angry about? Mate, I said, well, you compared my hair to an alien plant that hunts humans. And I don't think it's fair to compare my hair to an alien. So there. And he said, that almost rhymed. And I answered, hmm. I noticed that, yeah, so is that us done now, he asked. I said, well, what, what do you mean? He said, 
is that the, the end of our conversation I said well I guess so unless there's something else about me that you wish to ridicule he nodded his head and put on his trousers and quickly exited the restaurant and when I thought that he was gone he poked his head through the window and shouted to me you know what mate said I don't and he, he said it wasn't really a question it was just the beginning of a sentence And I said, whoops, sorry for interrupting you, I didn't realise that you were planning to say more words uh, he s he said yes I really was prepared to say more So I, I took the loaf of bread 
out of my mouth and put it back onto the table next to me, which didn't seem to be appreciated by the people eating there and I turned around and spun very quickly but unfortunately I didn't transform into Wonder Woman But luckily, I was wearing the costume underneath my waiter's uniform and just as I was ready to have it out with the rude customer my phone rang ring ring there seemed to be some kind of delay and when I answered the phone the voice on the other end said to me that when I'm in a field with my hair out of the ponytail the astronauts can see me from Mars without a telescope
which seemed slightly unlikely. and cruel because I can't help how my hair is Then, one day, my whole life changed when I was Reduced to a pair of scissors. Because up until that point, I didn't realize that. So I wrote a poem about it. But I've forgotten. <laughs>